Here are 10 ways to get ahead of 99% of business searchers and actually find a good business to buy. Number one, have an acquisition vision. This is step one because it's required for all the rest of the steps I'm gonna to cover today. You need to be crystal clear on what you want. I won't go into the details here because I've done videos in the past about how to develop your acquisition vision. And it's something I spend a lot of time on with my consulting clients. But most people go about their business search without any plan or strategy. As a result, over 90% of the people who start a business search or consider themselves searching never actually close on a business. Unsuccessful searchers look at businesses the way people look at, I don't know, clothes or purses or whatever it is that they like to shop for. And what I mean by that is they'll open up their phone and they'll just browse, just browse on Biz Buy Sell or one of these online marketplaces as if it's Amazon. Don't do this. Be intentional with what you want and have a concise acquisition vision so that when you're speaking to brokers and sellers, they know you mean they know you mean business. They know you're serious about your search and you will get a very different response when they know you're not just a tire kicker, not just somebody who's going out with no plan. The second thing, start your search with a business you know. If you work for a small business right now, have you ever thought about buying the business you work for or the business that your wife or son or daughter works for? If not, what about a business that you use yourself? Maybe there is a little car wash in town that you always go to or the gym that you go to. So start with a business you've thought about before. Maybe it's one that you drive by every day. And even better, if you already know the owner, if it's someone in your community and you already have a relationship with him or her, take them out to a coffee and ask, have you ever thought about selling your business? Then shut up and listen. When you're asking this question, you're never trying to convince them to sell. People, business owners are either ready or they aren't. And if they aren't, then you're planting the idea, which they'll keep in their mind, it'll be in their head, and maybe in a few months, they'll get back to you and say, actually, I am considering selling. But if you don't ask, the answer is always no. The third thing to get ahead of 99% of searchers is to join a business group. If you already own a business, I recommend you join a group like BNI or Latip. If you're not familiar with these groups, they are business referral groups. These are groups of business owners who get together to support each other. And there's no easier way to find a concentrated group of business owners than these groups. Also, these groups tend to skew older. So there is a greater chance that you'll run into people who are of retirement age. You can even check out groups like the Chamber of Commerce, Rotary Club, and other clubs like that in your town. Every town has one or more of these. So again, join groups. Number four. Set your LinkedIn description to SMB investor and in your bio, add your acquisition vision. If you look up my personal one, it says exactly that. It says SMB investor. And then in my bio, it has the types of businesses I'm currently looking for. And people reach out to me. You'd be amazed. People look for that. So I get brokers, lenders, and other people DMing me with deals. So this is one more step in showing that you're serious because yes, brokers will look you up as soon as you initiate contact with them. Number five, post in Facebook groups what you're looking for. There are a huge number of Facebook groups for businesses for sale. Even use your local community's Facebook groups. There, this could be a neighborhood group or a city group. Um, I've told this story several times on this channel, but I know someone who did exactly this. He moved to a small town and joined one of these neighborhood groups. He wrote an introduction of who he was, who his family was, that they are young and looking for ways to get invested in the community for the long term, that they wanted to employ locals and bring fresh energy to the town's economy. And then in the bottom of the message, there was a call to action. It said, message me if you're looking to retire or you know somebody who is, somebody who's looking to get out of their business. They got several messages from this and they ended up buying a little business that had been running in that town for decades. And they're now the owners of it. They came in, made a lot of improvements, brought it into the 21st century, and it's going very well for them. Number six, 
reach out to your friends and family. It's amazing how many people will have done all of the steps I've mentioned so far, but not think to tell the people closest to them that they're searching for a business. I know most of you watching this, based on the analytics, are young and your parents are boomers or maybe Generation X. Well, my friends, they are in a phase of life, your parents and, and that generation, where a huge number of their friends are retiring right now and in the coming years. So who better to ask than your mom or your dad or your uncle or your grandpa? Just say, hey mom, hey dad, do you know of anyone who might be interested in selling their business? I have seen people find businesses this way after spending months wasting their time on the online marketplaces. So let your friends and family know that you're searching. Number seven, this is starting to get a little more technical, but set up a custom domain name. Go to namecheap.com or Google domains and buy a domain for your search fund. This can be as cheap as $2 a year to get the domain name. Then come up with a name for your search group. You don't, you don't have to overthink this. If your last name is Smith, you can be Smith Search Group. Or if you're in Washington, you can be Pacific Northwest Ventures. Um, use the name of your dog. It doesn't matter. It can even be specific to the industry you're looking for. If you're looking for laundromats, you could call yourself the Laundry Professionals. You could even have ChatGPT suggest names if you're not creative. It doesn't matter. Pick something professional and get a cheap domain. Oh, and the domain, it doesn't have to be .com. It can be .co, .biz, .net. It's not important. It just is an extra step in showing that you're professional and you've thought through what you're doing. Now, the eighth step is to set up a web page using the domain that you just made. Use something like Card or WordPress to just set up a simple free landing page on it, write out your acquisition vision and have a way to contact you. And that's it. Super simple, will take you 10 minutes. Ninth step, set up a search email using your custom domain. And then for all outreach that you make to brokers and sellers, send emails from this account. And then in your signature for that email, include the link to your website that you just set up. And brokers and sellers are going to see this and know you're serious and your response, your response rate will be significantly higher. It's one of those superficial little detailed things that is annoying and shouldn't matter, but it's the reality of this world. A broker is 100% more likely to respond to, I don't know, Ross at smbventures.com than to Ross57 at yahoo.com. So take that into mind, set up your professional email. Now, the 10th and final step, now that you've done the previous nine steps, you're looking pretty professional. You're looking committed to the search across your web presence. You've exhausted your network. You've reached out to everyone you know, but you're still on the search. It's time to conduct outreach to brokers. So for this, I recommend Twitter and Google. On Twitter, find brokers you like, who have values that align with yours, who explain things in a way that makes sense to you and DM them your acquisition vision. For Google, just type in your target city plus business broker and email every single one that you find. And you'll be sending these emails from your search email that you set up with your acquisition vision and get yourself on their radar. I used to be a broker. I started in this industry as a business broker. And the main objection I got when trying to get a seller to list their business was something along the lines of, I'm not ready to sell, but bring me a buyer and I'll consider them on a case by case basis. So if you come to a broker with a clear acquisition vision, looking serious, possibly with proof of funds or a loan prequalification in hand, that gives them the broker leverage when they go to the type of business owner that you want to buy and say, Hey, I've got a buyer who is looking for a business just like yours. Are you ready to sell? And you know, they'll give a little profile like this. This buyer is looking exactly for a business like yours and the seller is like, great, let's talk. So that's it. 99% of searchers are going to be browsing biz buy sell like it's Amazon, not you. You have 10 actionable steps to actually find and close on a business. 